and welcome to Caravan Escapades. I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. Um, so we're on our journey back um, up towards sort of Calais and home after our trip down in the south. One of the things I've been asked about a few times are airs and um, you know particularly the airs in France. There are two types of airs, they're the autoroute airs and the airs uh, what well, they call them air de camping cars. So basically the, those or the second type are the airs that are on the outskirts of rural towns, they're in rural locations, that sort of thing, but can only be used by motorhomes and camper vans. The other air, the auto route air, can be split into two types. Um, there is one that is fully serviced, very much like our service, our motorway services back in the UK, and one that literally is just a rest stop. Uh, will quite often have toilet facilities and they'll vary in cleanliness, that sort of stuff, uh, and they might have a little play park as well. A little bit smaller, but often very, very suitable for you to stop and take a rest. So we're just going to pull over into one of the small airs now, the small sort of rest areas. There won't be any facilities or there won't be any shops and those sorts of stuff. It's also a Sunday, so one thing that's worth knowing, on a Sunday, HGV transport isn't allowed on the French roads, they have to park up. So what you tend to find in all the airs on a Sunday is they are pretty sort of chocker with lorries and things like that although this one only has two lorries so we'll pull in just next to this one here and you can see there's a small well you can't see but i'll show you so here we are we've just pulled over here uh, along with the trucks these rest stops rest stops vary in size um, you often find a picnic table, that sort of stuff. Claire's just shaking her head at me. The quality of the toilets here are not great. <laughs> the so they're obviously going to go and use the caravan. Um, the what, sorry? It's oh, it's overflowing. So, yeah, they're obviously not great. Um, but you tend to have a few sort of parking spaces, disabled spaces. Claire and Darcy May can be a little bit fussy. Oh, okay, I see what they're saying, yeah. So there's a long drop. So, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so I don't think these are in a particularly... Well, there's a urinal there. Um, yeah, they're... Uh, oh. <coughs> yeah, these ones are a bit... You don't often find that, to be fair. You do find them in reasonable sort of quality. Um, as I say, they come in various shapes and sizes. One of these type, I wouldn't stop in overnight. Um, you know, I would stop in the other one and we'll show you one of the other airs, but I certainly wouldn't stop in uh, for any real length of time, certainly not at night. I'd be happy to sort of stop and have a break here for uh, an hour or so, stretch your legs, maybe have a picnic, that sort of thing. But I wouldn't sort of spend a night in one of these types of airs, but I would in the others. So anyway, this is kind of the general rest stop air and we'll let you know what the others are like. So just to give you another comparison, we've stopped at one of the rest airs just to grab a bit of lunch. We've got some baguette and cheese and things like that with us in the caravan, so we're gonna make that. It is one of the smaller ones. It's slightly different to the other one. There's an area for cars, etc., over there, um, and trucks and caravans, motorhomes, that sort of stuff here. So this is probably more common. Uh, Let's go and take a quick look at the toilet facilities and see what they're like. So it's the ladies this side. These look a bit more sort of modern, less problems with them. There's water there, so you can fill up with the water, that sort of thing. Obviously plenty of picnic tables, recycling areas. Uh, let's give this a go. So yeah, look, this is, this is far cleaner far nicer um, than the other ones that we stopped in and this is kind of can be a bit more what you can expect but it could be a little bit hit and miss right i'm going to wander back to the girls and get something to eat so we're going to stop in uh the next type of air uh, which is an air that's kind of fully serviced so you've got fuel you've got a shop you've got uh, invariably a restaurant somewhere to get some food decent toilets that sort of stuff. when i say decent toilets um, <laughs> Don't hold now, your 
we found them pretty good most of the time. So we are 300 meters from the next air. Um, also, I don't know whether you saw that sign on the right hand side. It told you uh, how far other types of air are further along. You can see the air on the left hand side there. It doesn't look too bad. Um, these airs are run by different companies. Uh, very much like we have Welcome Brake and Moto and all those sorts of stuff at home. So again, let's hope that we can find decent caravan parking. Uh, it does say up here on the left, we've got caravan parking. So round the roundabout, see it's quite a few trucks in. And one of the things we have suffered from in the past is literally at the roundabout, take you know, the not being able to stop because A1. we've gone into the caravan area. Um, the caravan area is height restricted, Fabric. but we are okay. Uh, 3.5 meters, so we're below that. Take the slip road ahead to A1 toward. Uh, and I think I've just, just missed, missed it. it. I've literally. That's how easy it is to do. I have literally just. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh no, I've not. No, I've not. No, I've not. Um. Yeah, it says the caravan parking. It might be here. It's up here, look. Yeah, so a little bit further along. Careful, because it looks tight. And that is the one thing you've got to be careful of, particularly with um, you know UK caravans and bigger, longer rigs, that sort of stuff. They do put these big, high curbs in, which can make it a little bit more difficult. But we seem to be okay. Um, I think I'm probably doing this all totally wrong. You are going the wrong way, Dan. Yeah, so there we go. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way, but I wanted to get with the other caravan, so we'll swing it back round in here. So you can see the caravan parking can be a little bit confusing. So we should just pull up and we'll come back to you in a moment. So here we are, we are parked in the air. We are just gonna go into services. One of the things I do do whenever I'm in the services, we've got the hitch lock on um, and a wheel lock on. And we'll try not to stay away too far or for too long. So we'll take a wander over to the services now. Again, you know, there are various different picnic areas. Um, you know, the services are vary in the quality this one doesn't look too bad on how well kept they are i mean we've been to them before where they've had immaculate grass um or others just kind of left to be a bit overgrown what a lot of things? them have play parks as well, oh yeah and a lot of them do play as you say a lot of have play parks this one probably has got a play park but you can say it's quite oh, nice traditional for people to sit out as you can see the family up here look yeah. they've got their own picnic um, sat out. One of the things are uh, becoming more and more commonplace is obviously the EV chargers, uh, but that's exactly the same as in the UK. This is probably one of the better served um, services. You've got a McDonald's, Territories de France, you've got a Starbucks, yes, come on, a casino shop, uh, and all the other bits. So we'll go inside and we'll take a look. So I've just been inside the toilet, obviously I'm not going to take the camera with me, but yeah, you know what, they are pretty clean and spotless, quite modern, um, quite refreshed. What I will say as a caveat, some of these serviced airs aren't always the same, some of them are a little bit more run down, uh, you know, a little bit older, facilities probably aren't quite as good. Uh, this is one of the good ones, there are quite a lot like this, but there are um, other ones that maybe the services aren't quite up to this scratch or this standard. Again, as we kind of walk into the services, you can see uh, there's your McDonald's, pretty much the same way as you would do in the UK. Plenty of seating areas, hot food dispensary. Starbucks, get in. Uh, toilets through there. And again, your casino shop. Where things are becoming more and more commonplace. And they do produce pretty good coffees. Uh, these automated coffee machines that you can see all along the side there. Um, 
and they literally just order uh, these are on like they do cold drinks as well so yeah coffees cold drinks all sorts of stuff there uh, and the great thing is as well you can swap it to English and it'll do it all in English and they do seem to produce quite a good quality coffee uh, and then there's your shop <coughs> which you can quite often get uh, I say quite often not always um, can't see it anywhere but sometimes you can normally get a good um, fresh baguette but probably even from the restaurant back there you could get one and again pretty much a service service one of the things you do get a lot of is these pre-filled sandwiches um, <coughs> and soft drinks and your biscuits so that is inside one of the French auto route fully serviced airs I mentioned earlier on about being able to buy the fresh baguettes, that sort of stuff that you can here. They're even doing it as a meal deal, look. So you can buy the baguette, you can buy your cheese and your ham, that sort of stuff, and a drink, all for three euros. That's actually not bad at all. Um, so yeah, get bread and stuff as well. Just a sample of the food you can get. That's from the food counter, which as you can see, it's a lot better than our motorway services at home. <laughs> so that's what we call, I guess, a fully serviced air um, here in France. Would we stop in one of these overnight? Absolutely. And we have done on many occasions, you know, even for a short couple of hours, get a couple of hours sleep right the way down to, um, you know, spending the whole night here. It's a case of being safe, really. Um, you know, I've heard these rumours about people being gassed in their caravans overnight. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what, have you ever spoken to anybody that's been gassed in a caravan overnight? I mean, from what I understand, it's almost a pure impossibility. A gas, uh, sorry, a caravan is a very well vented area. Um, the amount of gas that you would need to fill a caravan, to pump it in, is almost a tanker's worth. The cost of the gas, um, it just makes it impractical. You know, I'd be really interested to speak to somebody directly that has being gassed in a caravan while they're sleeping in an air. Would I stop in one of the other airs um, where there aren't any services there? Absolutely not. Um, no, definitely wouldn't stop in one of those. It's about being safe, it's about being secure. You know what, if you pull up into a services and you don't feel secure, move on to the next one, particularly if you're gonna stop overnight. You know, try and stop where there are lots of people around, that sort of thing. Um, like I say, I'm not telling you, yes, nothing's gonna happen to you if you stop in one of these airs overnight. All I can tell you is our experience. We've stopped in many of them on many occasions and never had an issue. It is just about, I think, about being sensible. Try and stop where there's plenty of other people around. The other thing we have had done actually with the caravan is we've had this extra lock fitted and you can lock it from the inside. So we can drop that lock down from the inside and prevent anybody getting in. So just to show you another service there, a little bit of a smaller one. So we pulled in, typically this is what you get with caravan bays, it's just one sort of lay by on the side there. So again, electric charging points are appearing, all quite new. Uh, this is a fully serviced air again with petrol station that sort of stuff but the service area is slightly smaller but it's still quite a nice quaint one picnic areas dotted around is the Carrefour Express again there's your fuel pumps there without any trouble and around here is your entrance and again I just show another example of a service there a little bit smaller but you know reasonably well equipped shop another again there toilets and then a small shop area seating area food 
as you can see, smaller selection of food. And just to, to chill out. These are, you know, so much better than UK motorway services. So the final air and the air that we as caravanners can't get into is the air camping car. You'll often see this sign here, um, invariably from motorhomes, that sort of stuff. And essentially the difference between us caravanners and the motorhome camper vanners is you need to be self-sufficient. So you need to be able to carry your grey waste, water tank on board, those sorts of stuff. And these airs are generally on the outskirts of small towns like this um, and you don't normally have to pay um, but they don't want you setting up awnings and all those sorts of things um, so it purely is for a stopover but that is the camping car air um, and it's the air that us as caravanners can't use so this is the typical camping car air as you can see, it's basically all motorhomes. There's a small spot, motorhomes, camper vans, that sort of stuff. There's a small spot for all of them, but you do have to be self-sufficient. Um, they are a little bit closer in than probably you would get on a normal caravan site and that sort of stuff. But that is your camping car air. So that's our overview of French airs for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please, if you've got any questions, leave them down below. Um, you know, use them in France. They are different, certainly, to the UK ones. They can be great. They can be a bit diabolical. Um, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when we put more videos out. Right, we must carry on our journey. One more night in France and we'll see you soon.